Nail biter's nails are one of the hardest nails to apply extensions to. We're always trying to avoid touching product, uncured product, to the exposed skin. But I think I might have a solution. Let's get started. Okay, so here is our little finger that we're gonna work with. You wanna see who this is attached to? Grant is back. It's me. <laughs> Grant was my very first, you were the, was he the very first person I've had on my YouTube channel doing nails? Are you I think so. Are you asking me? I, I, so. I don't know. I, I, I so. was the most handsome. Yes, oh. definitely. Oh. The problem, why I really did your nails was he had nails that he bites. And everyone else I knew had fake nails, so I decided to put fake nails on Grant, and he was a perfect model. And I've waited two years to do this again, and that's what I want to talk about. I want to break it down when we talk about nails that are bitten. So here's this poor little nail. It doesn't hurt, does it, Grant? Let me know if it does. No. It's one no. thing about nail biters. They're tough. I will squeal if it hurts. Yes. It does not hurt. <laughs> one thing about nails that are bitten is they have very small nail to put anything onto. And the whole idea is we want to get as much nail before we put any product on to attach it to. The more nail we expose, the better chance the enhancement will stay on. So I'm just gonna gently push all the cuticle back here. Look at that, we're getting quite a bit more nail estate. Okay, so once that's all done, here's one of the biggest problems with the nail biters. When the nail is being receded back further and further, often the skin at the end of their nail can become higher than the actual nail plate. You can see in the corner here, it's quite recessed in. You can see a few of his fingers do that. See how the corner? And not only this part and the very side is what we need to attach the fake stuff to, whatever product you're putting on. So if you look at this finger here, you can see how far his little fingernail is recessed, especially on this side. And when it's recessed into the corner, this area here, when it's recessed in there, the little, well, the end of your finger is actually higher so I'm gonna show you the form to show you the problem. So normally we would form a nail like this. A nail form is a specially designed paper we attach under the fingernail to build the enhancement out. We want to sort of get the form so it's up to or under. Now in a nail biter's case, there's no such thing as under. And that's okay, so we're just gonna work around it. So if you try to put it up to as much as possible, Let's say this is gonna work for us. You can see it's right up there. But the biggest problem about that is it's actually sitting higher. And if you hold the form and you start doing it, it's gonna slide even higher. The finger underneath is gonna push that form up and you're gonna end up with a very large gap in here because the sides are supposed to go out very smooth and even. We take it to the side, we take the product to the side and go out. So then you could, let's say we're gonna cut the form. That's another way to go. I remember you doing this. Yeah. In yeah. the video way back. Yeah. Then. That it is one way you can go. And for some fingers, it definitely will work. But if you've got some that really rece recess down the side, it's not as good. Okay. So we're going to cut down both sides. And for a lot of types of nails, this definitely is very effective cutting the form. Very effective. But for a nail biter in particular, it doesn't, it's not that effective, I don't find. Yes, it'll make it wider for you, which is good. But you're still in the same boat. Sure, now it's a little bit squarer, a little bit wider to capture those side points, right? It's really wide there. But unfortunately, it still sits higher than the natural nail. A form's job is to sit lower where the nail is going to grow out. You pull the nail, just imaginary, put the form on and pull the nail out. That's where the form is supposed to sit. This is sitting too high. It's actually, this is the natural nail. This is the form. It's supposed to sit here. It's actually sitting here. So when you put the product on, it's gonna look horrible. So this is the way I formed them for years. It's very effective, it works very well, but it does expose the skin to uncured product. <gasps> That's right. <laughs> Sorry, thought I'd add that dramatic effect. I mean, it's not be that everybody that, if you do this, it's gonna happen that they'll be allergic. I'm 35 years, I never had a client that did become allergic. This is the way I would form it. And often, because when you do a nail for a person who's bitten their nail, you don't go very long or you shouldn't. 
So if you're going to take this nail here, for example, so the distance between the cuticle and the free edge where it should begin is this long. You want to cut that in half. So we have one third, one third, and one third. If I make it one third, that's a standard for any new set of nail. So my nails would be very, very different because look how long my nail bed is and it starts here. So if I cut it in half, I can go this long. Now that's a standard when you're first doing a new set for somebody who's never worn nails before, especially a nail biter. They're obviously not used to long nails, are you, Grant? But when you wore them, you got used to them. I did. And mm -hmm. then COVID happened and mm -hmm. here I am. And yum, 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 yum. Bit them all off. Yeah. It's well, understandable. It's a slightly stressful situation. Yeah, slightly. A global pandemic. Slightly. Yeah. <laughs> so we will do the third third and the third rule, but it's barely just going to touch this edge of the form. We may not even make it here, but then that means uncured product is sitting on top of the skin. Like I say, I did that for years and I still like that way of doing it, but I thought, how can we cover up that little skin part without touching uncured product to it? Here's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm just going to quickly prep this nail for the product to go on and, we'll, and I'll form it and show you my little trick. I've got this on very, very low, and I'm just going to buff the surface of the natural nail and get rid of any shine and that cuticle that's stuck on there. Okay. And I am going to cut this excess skin. It's just kind of, when I pushed it back there, I got a lot of dead skin. And the trick when nipping skin, make sure it's the dead stuff. And I will put a little bit of pressure on and make sure that he's okay. You okay? I'm fine. <laughs> Is this the part where I admit that I also use nippers the odd time? Oh, too? do you? Yes, I do. Oh. Yes. Well, do you ever go too far? Because... Yes. Yeah. It's actually on my other hand. It looks like... <laughs> it's oh. It's here and use it. No, I'm kidding. Let's see. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't think mm -hmm. that happened. Well, actually, it did, oh, I guess. Oh, where did you do? Oh, that's see so that one? painful. Hi. This one here? Yeah. Oh, it looks so sore, that's Grant. Grand. Is it sore? No, it's, it's it's fine now. Yeah, nail biters are tough, man. You can just, like... I'm not tough, but thank you for, for saying that. <laughs> Your fingernails or yes. cuticles are tough. Look at that. Oh. So, oh, just turn it on for I'm just going to go around the cuticle one more time. After I pushed it back a little bit, it might have exposed it a bit more. One thing I did notice is I am dressed for fall. You are dressed for summer still. Technically, it still is summer. I guess that's true. Technically. Not by the time this video might be aired. Well, probably not, gotcha. actually. Yes, that's true. Do you remember that time we went to Vegas and he went in with a tank top? My daughter went in with a tank top to a fancy restaurant and they kicked us out? Well, they kicked me out because I was wearing the tank that's top. That's right. But my daughter was wearing a tank top too, except hers straps were even It was like, it was like a swimsuit. It was yeah. even skimpier. Yeah, I know. And they kicked, they didn't want you to come in. We pointed that out to them, but they didn't appreciate the difference. So I went to the hotel room and That's right, he got a, a shirt. nice little dress shirt. Yeah, I'm surprised you had one. It had sleeves. Because they all forced me to buy one. It had sleeves and a collar. <laughs> That's why. It's not that I brought one. It's that y'all got me to buy one. Well, it's a good thing. It was a good restaurant. We wanted to go. Oh, goodness. It's a good thing. Okay, so I am now ready to put a nail on. Exactly like I would normally do. Okay, so I'm gonna form this. My goal is actually to make sure the sides of the form is lower, product goes on top of the form, hence the extension. That's what an extension is for. So I may not reach it actually, it may just actually fall on the actual end of the skin. So here's my trick. I picked this up at Sally's, it's very simple. The thinnest thing I could think of, because if I put anything else under there, it's going to be too thick like a form. So I decided maybe this will work. You know how you paint? You don't know about this, but you can paint the stuff around cuticles, like just around your cuticles. When you're painting your nails, it's to protect the skin from getting all dirty with nail polish and stuff. So I thought this is super thin. It's a latex. You just paint the end of the finger to protect it. That's a neat spongy brush. It is actually. Usually they're like nail polish brushes. I like how it sounds coming out of the bottle. Is that weird? That is weird. No, no, do, do it again. Oh, I like that. I like that sound. <laughs> oh, no, not, not, I don't like that. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to, I'm going to apply a little bit more on the free edge of the nail here 
Why are you doing that? Because I'm wondering if it attaches to what's already on there. When I pull it off, maybe it'll stick to the form and it'll all come off. So the idea is it may not come off because if you've ever done this where you've done a form and you've done it as tight as you could and you get it up in there to protect that skin, then you apply the product. Then you go to take the nail form off and the nail form gets stuck, the paper, inside the corner underneath the finger. That's because you're really trying to get it in there and up in there. and That's what it will do. So this, we're going to let this dry. We're going to apply the nail. And I believe this will dry and protect the skin. And then when we put the nail on, by the time it's cured, we can just wipe it away or even try to file underneath a little bit. And if a little gets stuck in there, I think you could just wash it right out. That's my theory. My precious little fingers will be fine. Yes, I think they will. So I'm going to put a little bit of product in my little dish here. Oh, is it already dry? Are we? Oh, we're going, we're going ham here. Okay. We're going who? We're going ham. What does that mean? Like we're going for it. We're doing it. Okay. <laughs> oh, you kids and your sayings. Not now, millennial kids. things. Oops. Woo! <laughs> that just came. I was full. <laughs> okay, so we are going to build a nail there now. Okay, I just need a paper towel here. Okay, I'm just going to build this nail real quick, and then we'll file it all up and see how it does. Okay, my mad little experiment here. Oh, it's so fun to do someone else's nails than mine all the time. It's different. It's totally different. I'm just a better client than you Maybe. are. Maybe. <laughs> Very funny. That's why I'm here, Susie. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna file it up. Okay, he's dry. Let's take this form off. Look at it, look at it. I know, it's cool, eh? It's stretching out. Oh, it did take it. The whole, the whole shebang? Yeah. Oh man, it worked. You're brilliant, Susie. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, look at that. It took it all out. That's great. That's fantastic. That's all I wanted. Okay, so you can see that it's wider. I mean, when you're doing a nail like this, you kind of just make sure you got the product on and then you can shape it up. This is longer. I don't want it to be that long because you're not used to it yet. No. You need to work up to that length. So I'm going to shorten it quite a bit. So I'm going to file it all up and then we'll get onto the underneath. Okay, so I am going to show you a bit that you can use to double check and make sure none of the latex is still underneath. And if it is, you can file it out this way, or if you can't get at it, you could really just let it grow out. And once the nail grows out, maybe a week, you could probably get at that stuff. Okay, I'm going to dust it off so it's a little easier to see. And I'm just going to go with slow speed with my trimmer bit. And I'm just going to see if there's anything underneath. This still is a bit long, I think, for your first set back after, you know, two and a half years. You want to get, you want the nails to grow with you. So I'm just, just going underneath and just smoothing it a little bit, making sure there's nothing. And there is no pink latex. It really just did come all the way out. I think once it's dry, it just pulled itself right out. That's fabulous. It's kind of fun to watch, actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's the satisfying. little things in life. That if it I didn't enjoy. come all the way out, that would have been a bummer. Yeah. Wah, wah. Thanks, really, thanks for yeah, watching our video. <laughs> but it's good to try. You never know what's going to happen. That's why you got to try. So when I'm filing here, when you're filing the side, see how you want to make that recessed nail that went down to that little corner right there? Right in this little area here. It was so recessed in there, the product comes out and it comes straight out from there. So we are not going to taper it in at all. We're going to keep that width there. And we're just going to file that nice and smooth. Now it's going to look a little bit wider. These types of nails are definitely look a little bit wider, a little bit chunkier. But once the natural nail starts to grow in, it starts to take a nice shape of the natural nail. And you can go a little bit narrower and uh, thinner. And it looks a little bit better. And it looks more natural. So you just got to give it some time. The first set for a nail biter is really, you're just sacrificing getting something on there to protect it, to give the natural nail a chance to grow. Now I am gonna taper the corners just a little bit. 
I'm going to just soften the corners too so you don't catch it on anything and just give it a chance to really grow. Now, how does that feel for length, Grant? You can hit it on the table. Does it feel comfortable? It still feels a little long, actually. It's because okay. I'm so not used to it. No, no, okay. it's, oh, no it's totally, I, I can make it work. It just, mm -hmm. I'm so two and a half years you know in, what? I'm like, ah. And that's a great question to ask. It has to be comfortable for the client. Even though if you want to make it look longer and maybe if it's an aesthetic thing, you've got to listen. You've got to custom design it to what the customer wants. So I'm getting from him, well, because you just said, it's just a little bit long. I'm a big boy. I can make no. it work. Mm -mm. We're going to make it, we're going to make oh, it Oh, bless you. We're going to shorten it just a little bit more to make it more comfortable. Okay. Go like that. that that's much Is that better. better? Much like better. Like a little shorter? No, that, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to look at that. Okay. I can do that. You like the sound? Yep. Yeah, I remember that. Whenever Grant was waiting. It was fun to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes your point. Okay. Okay, we're just going to soften it up. I'm going to finish it with my fine file. Okay, one more tip. Make sure that you make it nice and smooth and make sure with a nail biter, they come and see you about seven to 10 days after you do that first set, because if there's anything hanging or bugging them or lifted or anything, you can fix it right away before it becomes a problem. They're not nibble. You want to make sure everything's smooth. So about seven to 10 days, give it a nice little mini manicure. Okay, I'm just going to finish this up. Oh, What's wrong? Oh, you don't sponge. like this one. <laughs> I hate the sponge. But it's such a nice finish. It's just such an uncomfortable you don't feeling. Like it, eh? I don't like it. You can bite your nails, but this bothers you. <laughs> Is it okay. the sound? It's the texture. It's the sound. I'm just, I'm just going to my happy place to try and process. I don't like it. <laughs> just driving them crazy. Yeah, six years later, I still don't like that. Yeah, isn't that still interesting? Down. Yeah. It's the smoothing part. It's good, Grant. It's good. Just going to put a little bit of oil on there, massage it in. I bet you have a long time since you put a nice nourishing cuticle oil on there and let it soak right in. I bet you've never done it. You've never no, done it. I did it last week, actually. Yeah, you did. I'll have you know. Lying. I'll have you know. Tuesday. Okay, <laughs> clearly I'm going to send you home with a bottle of oil. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that experiment. It worked. And I hope you guys try it and I hope it works for you too. We did do a couple of videos during the pandemic. We did two. What, what was it about? What was it? There was one with fruit. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there was one where uh, I picked the design, which was mostly you picking <laughs> what was happening. But they were all virtual. Uh, yeah. I, re I remember that actually. They're really cute if you want to check them out.